Dave here, Journey of the Outdoors. Got a great video for you guys today. Um, we're gonna be doing some uh, catfish dough bait here. That's catfish dough bait. And uh, I wanna show you something that you really haven't seen before. You may, you may think you've seen it before, may have once or twice, but anyways, um, this is gonna be a pretty inexpensive dough bait. Um, you know, I've tried a, a lot in the time that I've been fishing and uh, catfishing and this is one of the best. So anyways, uh, we got some APF here. Um, just a little bit just to get it started. This is using as the base. APF is all purpose flour. So you can use any flour. You can use white flour. You can use corn flour. Uh, you can use wheat flour. Whatever, whatever you want to use as long as you have like a good uh a good gluten in it a good strong uh, uh gluten in it it'll work it'll work best so then we have a little bit of the cheap macaroni and cheese the box macaroni and cheese the kind that has the powder okay now uh not the kind that comes with like cheese sauce you don't want to use that um it won't work as well it won't set up as well uh so you want the powder the super cheap macaroni and cheese powder okay now uh this cheese bait is like the top of the notch for making like a good dough bait that's going to stick together so we're going to throw that cheese in there that cheese powder in there um and i think you can get these at your local store uh for probably about oh 50 cents you know give or take 60 cents maybe um you know anywhere you want to find a dollar store work too um, you can find it there so now you have your two cheese you have your cheese and your flour and you need a little bit of water. Now, just another tip is this is why I like to keep my uh, chicken liver containers because um, I can always just put my dough bait in there. I know it's going to be for fishing. I know it's not going to be opened up, you know, for any other reason than I'm getting ready to go fishing. Um, so add a little bit of flour to that, and uh, you know, and start working it over until you get it into a, a dough ball there. Now, you might think to yourself, Dave, that looks a little bit dry. Okay, now, to you, to you, you might have saw this before too. Oh, cheese bait, I've done that before, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but, you know, if you have, then you've never seen this before. We're going to take this up a notch. That's always what this show is about, is about taking it up a notch, giving you guys tips. I got some oyster sauce, okay? Now, oyster sauce is like really strong, condensed fish flavor now you put that in there and that's gonna put that's gonna take it up a notch and once it hits that water it's got that nice tarry uh, tarry dark fish sauce flavor and it's gonna just make that whole that whole area that you throw your bait into just ring with catfish catfish dinner bell okay so you want to ring that dinner bell once the catfish you know get a sniff of this so now as you can see I haven't used much water but it's starting to clump up. And that's what I was talking about, having a, uh, a, a flour that's gonna have a nice gluten in it, you know? So you definitely wanna do that. You definitely wanna have that. So now I'm just gonna end up working this over. Just until it works over into a ball. This is one good reason why you wanna have gloves too. I'm gonna keep on just until that goes into a nice dough bait there. Working it over. Keep working it over. And it's starting to work into a ball. Now, um, as I said before, if it gets too wet, then you can just add a little bit of flour or a little bit of cheese flavor, and that will cause it to stiffen up and it will get um, a little bit more dry. So you want that like Play-Doh like consistency, okay? So once you uh, end up putting this in the fridge, it's gonna harden up just a little bit more and it'll stay on the hook. So I just keep kneading it into itself and it should be really sticky. And once you roll it into a ball, you put this in a little plastic bag. Put this in a little plastic bag just like that let it set in the fridge and you can end up pinching this off in about all oh, six hours what well, depending on uh, the, the temperature of your fridge 
let it sit in there for about six hours. You can pinch it off, make a little dough balls. See, I just pinched that off, roll it up, put it on a, on a, on a, uh, on a treble hook or a dough bait hook, and that will work well. All right, that's another video for you guys. JTO, you need to check this out if you haven't. If you haven't um, yet had a chance yet, you need to go onto our Facebook page, uh, JTO. Um, it will it will definitely uh, benefit you to do that because we put a lot of our tips and update up to date like uh, fish catches on there. Uh, it's kind of like a forum type thing for everybody to be able to share information, and that's what this has always been about. So, you get a chance, Facebook.com dot JTO Journey of the Outdoors. Uh, then you can go on there and check it out. All right, to the next video. Later.